we'll give a couple of introduction, right? And we can continue this later. Um, okay, first of all, how many people here have, are familiar with alternative currency? It's a dollars, whatever. Okay, so uh, that was Paul Glover that uh, came up with that. Or, I'll uh, yeah. I'll go through. Um, I guess I guess I guess some of the thinking um, behind this. Yeah. Um, economics is basically ninety percent psychology, as people probably know. Um, okay, I can if Al does fixes my refrigerator. I, I write him an IOU for a hundred dollars as a piece of paper. He'll honor it as a hundred dollars backed by Joe Todaro, right? You know, so um, the federal government has done a great job marketing these pieces of paper and convincing everybody that those are worth value, monetary value. Um, the problem is that we've convinced ourselves that those are the only means of representing monetary wealth. Okay, um, and as a result, we've given a lot of power to the people who have this federal currency, right. and they decide who uh, they can invest in, which communities they could enrich, which of us succeeds, so-called, right? Um, and through using alternative currency, we have the ability to take that power back. Okay, there's no law against my writing a hundred dollar hundred dollars on a piece of paper and having out on it like a hundred dollar bill. Same thinking goes into alternative currency. Um, people have done this across the country. Um, uh, the only um, stipulation to it from what I hear is that um, there are, you can be taxed um, on um, whatever money you incur, whether it's through federal currency or any other means. Um, whether even, I guess direct barter is also taxable, okay, if you claim it as your regular income. Um, okay, so um, the way this has been done um, generally has been with cash that is printed locally, um, fixed up or designed so that it does not represent federal money in any way. Um, people keep lists. Um, there will be a centralized list um, that is distributed among that community uh, showing which, uh, which uh, goods and services are being asked for or contributed uh, towards that economy by the people involved and what those goods and services would be worth. And people would uh, go take the initiative and contact each other uh, to do the transactions. It's really very grassroots. Um, in fact, it's um, that we were, there's been discussion that I've heard about um, getting stores involved or businesses involved in this sort of thing. Um, that is good to do after a certain point in time. It's better to um, do that sort of thing after uh, a sizable community is already in place and, and trans transacting regularly. Okay. Okay, are there questions? That's that's my really quick can you Can you talk a little bit about Buffalo Bucks and your experience with yeah. that? Yeah, okay. Um, I have made attempts um, at starting Buffalo Currency myself. Um, now, this was in the 90s and also the 2000s when we were going through good economic times. It's very difficult to start alternative grassroots um, fix-up efforts during economic boom times. Now we happen to be in a recession, so um, now suddenly that this idea is taking kind of root again, mm -hmm. right? So we're having this discussion mm -hmm. again. Are there? Is this no, no, question? I'm sorry. It's just that means that means we, we agree. I agree. It's like applause. Sorry. It keeps you talking. All right. Okay. <laughs> good. 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 Silent applause. <laughs> okay. What would be so, the first steps if, if, say, for example? Yeah. Um, Say for example, we get a building and we're you know and, and we're growing and there's and there's a sizable community of us and there's a sizable community of supporters. Mm -hmm. how, how how would it? What would be first steps towards forming some kind of time bank or local currency within just within our group mm -hmm. and our supporters? Okay, the first thing, the first couple of things that have to be done is um, you have a list of people who are willing to get involved in the beginning. What we did in the what we did in the beginning was. We had to print the currency. We had no real cash. We needed real cash to do the, to print the currency with. <laughs> so what we did was we charged each of those initial members twenty bucks, and we until we got till we had. Maybe I think I think we needed fifteen people 
and then we were able to do the printing. And we went to Rich Printing uh, yeah. at that point. And they, and they, actually, uh, they actually took um, a credit line, actually, in Buffalo Hours um, at, to kind of wow. defray some of their charges to us. So, awesome. so we did, so that's, the, that's one thing to do, to basically raise real money to do the printing. Second, um, start a list. So each person in the system uh, would, would make a list of three or four things they would um, ask for, that they would, they would want uh, for Buffalo money, and three or four things they would sell for, for Buffalo money. Then we compile that list and distribute it among the people. They have the cash. And then the other thing to do is we would need to have a, a group of people to act as kind of a local reserve. And these are the people who would be responsible for um, uh, infusing the system with the cash. Um, okay, so each person upon, upon entering would get a certain number of hours um, to start with. And, and then they start trading and, and transacting yeah. amongst their group. Yeah. And then um, periodically, those people would get additional hours as they run out. But but it, if you get it too often, then people are discouraged from actually making the transaction. So you have to, which is which is really what inflation is, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, good. You have to publicize what your list looks like, so yes. that more people would come. Yes, absolutely. You know, so, so the, and and that's necessary because I have no idea. I, it seems really strange. So if it's not publicized, everybody would. Yeah, it would be possible. This list would be actually the other purpose of the list is to get other people involved in the system, yeah. right? So could you do this through, it, say, a website? Sure. Okay. So uh, ours is basically I mean, you would do you would uh, service, right? Yes. Like trade services or yeah. or even a service for food or something. Yeah, and okay, so what we did is we, we uh, instead of a dollar, and people say Buffalo Bucks, but the thing, the problem I have with calling it a buck is that it sounds too much like uh, federal right. currency, yeah. which right. makes people confused. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, were, we were calling them hours because it represents basically an hour of your, of your <laughs> talent, of your time. Right. Yeah. And, we, and we fixed it arbitrarily at $10 in federal currency. So you know that if you have, and you know, so basically we're paying ourselves $10 an hour for our work. Are there okay. smaller denominations? Yeah, there'll be a half hour, quarter hour, <laughs> like that kind of thing. That's very clever. Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I like five, like five cents. You know? <laughs> a lot of things are worth less than $10. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I heard about the system uh, in New Zealand, and it's pretty, uh, it's, um, oh, it's, huge. it's huge there. Can you explain more about uh, that system that is in place and sure. how it affects community? Sure, sure. Yeah, all it is is um, given time to grow. It, you know, all these, all these things basically started with a dozen or so people, 20 people uh, who distributed the list, started transacting. And those 20 people kind of use their networks to expand the, the scope, and additional people get involved, and their friends tell friends, etc. Right? Yeah. So it's all it's all about networking. It's about um, really um, earning your own money, basically investing in yourself and your own talent. Uh, I heard uh, that in New Zealand uh, that uh, uh, um, New Zealand dollar or the government is actually. Uh, pretty wor worried about this alternate system because the, they're uh, gaining so much uh, um, transactions. Right, right. And actually, I have to say that this is one reason why a cash decentralized currency is better than a barter system. Um, and that's why actually barter systems don't tend to work very well. The reason for it is because a barter system depends on basically a single person to administer the system, you know, with a computer program to handle all the debits and credits throughout the system, you know. So if, uh, if the federal government gets worried about, you know, us taking over, you know, whatever, you know, which is really, what we're doing is perfectly legal, right? But it doesn't matter, right? If the federal government feels threatened, they'll shut it down. No, they'll just strip you, you of know. your citizenship. You know, or something like, you know, I could be deported back to Sicily because of my parents being born there. You know, but uh, 
No, so basically, it it would, would, in, the, in, a, in a direct barter system, the only thing that's necessary to do is to shut down that one hub, you know, and, you, and, you're, and you're, then you took care of it. Good. Well, also in the direct barter system, you need to find the coincidence of that I have something you want and you have something that I right. want or yeah. can do or whatever. Well, Whereas, yeah, it's that fluidity, yeah. so that which is the original store of value that money is. So oh, it's yeah. just using an alternate, you know, mm -hmm. so-called currency or something for that store of value, which is yeah. all that money ever is. Yeah, it's, it's really all about networking. It's just, you know, you know right. going out there and talking to people. Well, also, too, uh, I know that Ithaca publishes, well, Ithaca Hours Foundation publishes Our Town, which is like a huge directory of everyone who would accept as well. And there's also a credit union alternative, federal credit union, which essentially handles a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so your question is, I'm sorry. Oh, it wasn't a question, it was a comment. So. What if I want to partake in the system, but my employer pays me with cash? Would there right. be a system where I could trade currencies? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, an hour, a Buffalo hour system would have, uh, we would have, keep a reserve of cash, mm -hmm. of regular, of our cash, and we would trade, you know, that would be kind of a regular thing. We would be able to infuse the money. But again, that would be controlled by that, by that central board because we want to be careful not to infuse too much money into the system. Right. So we would probably say, okay, well, this week we, we can do this much. Yeah. We can in, incur, infuse this much money. Yeah. Go ahead. So is there a, a system going on right now? And can we... In you know, Buffalo, no. No, not, not yet. Not yet. Not again yet. Not yet. This so is we're me ready. actually talking about the idea for the first time in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. so, wow. Exciting. Go ahead. I wanted to say, um, uh, 11 years ago, I became a war tax assistant, and uh, what that means is that I've paid my taxes in the last 11 years. And so, the, I belonged in, I came here from Massachusetts, and I belonged to this group that um, we all were tax assistants, but we didn't turn into money, but we did, um, we looked out for each other. And it was a, it was a really beautiful group of people, because, um, for example, we lived at, just like here in colleges, we lived in a, a college area where uh, people would go and the, the students, a lot of the students just throw away their TVs and their, oh, yeah. you know, it's unbelievable, but they throw away their, their things at the end of the semester. And so we would have people that would come and gather all that stuff up and then we would gather together and see what we needed. And it was a really mm -hmm. loving, caring sure. group of people. Yeah. Yeah. I lived in the city, and a lot of them lived in the country, and they would share the people. Yeah. So actually, you bring up a great point, like, um, actually. Um, so what I say about bartering, um, informal bartering, yeah. is by far the best way of doing anything economically. Yeah. You know, um, what, so what I have a problem with is, a formal barter system where you have, you know, a computer serving as the bank, no, this was basically, a, we right? All knew each other. So, if that was this group, yeah. and, I, and I might know that, that you needed to get your haircut, say, and, and we have one that does haircuts. Not right. that you either. <laughs> <right. laughs> oh, that's <laughs> <right. laughs> oh, <please. Okay. laughs> yeah. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.
like you know our community is our culture is acquire acquire be the billionaire be the gazillionaire and that's what we're telling our kids and that's what we emulate you know whereas we really could just as well say oh i admire someone who lives a, a life of simplicity and, and balance you know, and, make and that small be small is beautiful. And actually, you know, it's also like looking uh, so that you don't require federal money. You know, you have you have things that are of value. You just don't need federal money to acquire them. You know. Could you talk about the Ithaca system at all? Yeah, the Ithaca system um, was. Um, I see it here. It sounds like what you're doing, doing the the school system. The beginning of a resource-based economy. Yeah, it is. It's really, it's really a way to engineer it, if you, if, if you will. You know. I would argue with that, but I don't want to. I don't want to take up his time. With yeah, so let's just keep moving forward. Okay. So um, next move, and we can talk about this further again at some other time. We can form uh, people who are interested in starting this sort of thing. Can form a group. You know, talk about it in depth. You know. Get our own money, Accu dollars. Accu <laughs> hours. Accu hours. Accu hours. <laughs> I stand corrected. Well, well, uh, you know something else too. I think hours does. Uh, okay. I think they still publish a kit and yeah, they do. The, yeah in which you can develop your own system it's starting from there. To um, orientation exactly. um, instrument, right? So they give you uh, you know basic the basic everything I said in print form, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. with uh, you know the history of the of the idea, you know where else it's working and the basic premise that they operate under. So, so yeah, so we could furnish that sort of thing. We can make a website that does that. You know. So I would move that that you know once we find a home for Occupy Buffalo, that this would be a great thing to start in our community because it would keep at least whatever values that we do have right now in terms of stores of values. It would keep it local and it would keep it exchanged amongst people free of federal interference and free of the monetary system which corrupts so much of the planet in so many different ways. So it would just be a transition stage that would be moving us in the right direction. I think it's a, I think it's a brilliant idea and I think it's yeah. the time has come for Buffalo to move in that direction. Definitely. And I think there would be lots of people, more than 15, who would be interested in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, way more. Joe? I know this is like a silly question, but how, if, if Buffalo converted to these Occu hours or Buffalo hours, or, how would they buy all those like terrible cop gears from Halliburton? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they wouldn't how be able, be able to, do to do it. The feds give you money. Yeah, how would you be able to do it? What a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, we actually in the beginning in the '90s, we actually got the co-op, the Lexington co-op, to participate in Buffalo Hours. Oh, we ex people, we they, we had employees who agreed to take a portion of their wage, you know. Oh. in hours and contribute back and they would accept hours at the co-op. You know, there's ways of making it work. Um, but the main thing depends upon a healthy enough system in the first place. Oh. And actually in the part of the co-op, you know, um, it would do them, it, it would benefit them if they see a list of, you know, these 100 people could potentially, mm -hmm. you know, be customers of yours if you use these hours, et cetera, et cetera. So it depends on a healthy system at the grassroots mm -hmm. level before doing that. That's your, that's your answer. Point of information, this spring, I think in April or May, uh, Henry was saying that there's going to be a cooperative summit in Buffalo. And they're already advertising, a lot of the co-ops are already advertising, you know, we have the, uh, the Lexington Food Co-op, we have housing co-ops, we have farmer co-ops, we have the gardening co-op on that place on the, on the west side. So there's a lot of people coming together, and, then, and, and you know, we have ho the housing co-ops also. So these people are all going to be together in a room for a few days this, this this spring, and this might be a good time to kind of organize from now till then to get this list and to bring it to them because they're probably sure. very open to kind of us formulating this, and I think that would be the perfect place to kind of start it off is at right. that cooperative summit. Definitely. Yeah. Or we can just have people can send notes to the website to the on the Facebook or the Facebook page of Occupy. Right. Right. You can uh, say I'm interested in doing this. This is this is what I could do, you know. Um, okay, and uh, and we can we can we can begin a study group, you know, to set up a division of labor, you know, right. figure out how to get it off the ground.
Well, I think it sounds like, you know, starting, we could start before that needs to be ready then. When that's, that what I mean. that right. that's what I mean. Right, that's what I yeah. thought that's what you were yeah. saying. Yeah, right, okay. So it means getting the list, the list, yeah, both right. lists together right. between now and then. And, and I just wanted to mention, because I know uh, there's one in Carborough, North Carolina, too, which is right near Chapel Hill. I didn't know if you knew about that one or no. how that... No, I think part of it is just to keep, it's about momentum building. So as a yeah. movement, since we want to grow as a movement, mm -hmm. that it could be very key yeah. in that so that people see that as something exciting and new and it's get some more stuff. momentum. You don't have to be arguing against things, right? You can also promote right. something. Right. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Protest. It's all about being yeah. positive. Protest. Yeah. It's Progressive. Yes. Positive yes. protest. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the new word. Or two words. In a sense, this fits in perfectly with the economy now because it's yeah. a service economy. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and I'm just thinking, what about the stuff that people want? I know food, you can, you know, we need farmers to grow food. And that's, <coughs> that's about the capabilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, how would we deal with that? You know, all this. Okay, well, here's an idea. An idea would be if those of us are willing to go down to one of the, the community based agriculture places right oh, yeah. okay um we could we could give them get them part of the system you know give them a certain number of hours buffalo hours they would pay us absolutely you know to do the work yeah. okay and then and then uh, and then they would accept those hours back um when they sell the produce you know so it's kind of an infinite loop if you will right yeah, yeah, it's like basically it's people who have them are part of the system and they will be able to contribute those things. You have to start right. somewhere first though. I mean, right. obviously you're not going to have just start off with everything. You can't just go to Walmart and whatever it is, you know, like the idea is you start off with what is within your group to do. Yeah. Yeah. We also have a lot of things. We have a lot of stuff. We need to reuse a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I have DVDs yes. I never watch, right? Hey, yeah. Yeah. All those will be the same. Yeah, exactly. Are we going to a lending library too? Yeah. yeah. Books that can be recycled. Yes. Paper. Recycled books. The really free market. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. The really free market. Because when I first moved I think that's where we want to really give Albert a lot of credit because all the work you've done with the Buffalo really, really free market. <laughs> you can auction that off. I do good, like a real, I do get good yeah. air horn. Yeah, you can have, with some of your hours, right? Yeah, 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 with some of my hours. When I had a job, I used my soap by work. So I think this is something if we're interested in it, some, we could make turn this into a formal proposal at OB. And if it gets passed, then we could actually start moving towards this as a group, which I think would be oh, exciting. Oh, that'd be excellent. Very exciting, yeah. Very exciting. So like another phase. Yeah, like, I'd love to be there for that proposal. Yeah. <laughs> like another phase, getting into the alcohol. Agriculture and just moving it to phase yeah. after phase. Right. Rehabbing some house. Right. Like the white church right. does. Okay. Like like start church. Like 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 city for months. I don't really watch the Star Trek stuff. But get some uh, low income people into them. Any other questions or comments for Joe? Albert already has some free. What do you call it? I disagree. It's a really really free market. Oh yeah, free market. I, that's what I do. And we'll be doing, I mean, with global warming like this, we'll start them earlier in the year now. <laughs> <laughs> we could have had one today in the square. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, unintended consequences are degrees true. in yeah. February. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Aaron. Well, um, I was going to ask, you know, one of the things that you see in minority or, in a bad term, but impoverished, economically impoverished communities um, is a kind of colonization of their dreams where you have this wonderlust for 
uh, products, and it seems like the greatest difference could be made if we could get these communities to engage in these kind of strategies, uh, because it's like it would make the biggest difference. Yeah, I mean, that's the psychology part, it's 90% psychology. Because, you know, and that's the problem. So we, it, we, is the most hard to be, right? Because we don't have, like, Warren Buffett interested in pouring millions of dollars into my part of town, right? <laughs> so people in my part of town are figuring, okay, well then, no, there's no talent there. But the problem is, the thing is that there is talent there. You know, and oh. it's just that the paradigm shift is that, um, that all of us has something that, that we can contribute to the economy, which is really all of us in this room, you know, right. doing things to help the community. You know, that's what economics really is. You know. Wow. It's interesting that economy, which is the word which has a lot to do with um, uh, efficiency, if you look at the actual root word, it has a lot to do with doing something the most efficient and the best way, right? And and really, the way we do economy now is the most inefficient way. Well, yeah. it's, it's efficient according to someone else's precepts. It's right? efficient. Right. So if we can do something yeah. as efficient as we see as efficient, right? And money that's how we take it back. For better or for worse, money makes yeah. the world go around. But how you control those dollars is one thing. Putting it back into the communities that you know really matter. I beg to differ. <laughs> I do too. But that's another oh. for another day. We agree to disagree. <laughs> well, if you mean federal dollars, then maybe there, maybe there's a problem. But if you mean just money, <laughs> money comes in many forms, right? It's federal. It, you know, it, well, just money. Yeah, money. A better uh, impoverished yeah, neighborhood wealth, to bring it you know? uh, better. Yeah, make it better. I think that whenever we hear the word economy now or economics from now on. We should think of the definition Albert just said: doing things in the most inefficient. I mean, yeah, <laughs> doing yeah. things in the most efficient yeah. and what was what else? Did and you rational say? way. And rational way. Yeah, but the way you think is efficient and rational, not well, the way economics. You know, whole the percent. Like no, that's whole so definition. Well, well, that's something I like to suggest that as a project for all of us to think about what economics means. On a personal be. level, or like on a personal level, yeah. next time we get together, we could be talking about Karen. Uh, uh, Karen or Ronnie? Right. Okay. Uh, the, the idea of these uh, uh, green, uh, these buffalo uh, hours is, let's say you have the dilapidated building, right. and uh, people have these hours, and they say, okay, I want to rebuild my house. Right. You don't need outside help uh, from like Warren Buffett to. to uh, reignite your neighborhood, it's the community within these hours that you share your your qualities, let's say uh, 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 carpentry or whatever, uh, or playing the horn, horn uh, while uh, people are working <laughs> air horn. Air horn. That is a pretty good idea. To, to help your community and build that house up. And you wouldn't need outside help, you would take you have the matters in your own hands in the right. community to make your community independent of money because we're producing it ourselves so we can control so what we put out. So you would uh, uh, actually, uh, I mean, it's just a transition phase, this Buffalo Hours. Right. Yeah, it's uh, it's m m taking the responsibility into your own hands and making your community better. And if that uh, means that uh, we want uh, this validation that we did the work and we share these hours, of that's course. what it means. And uh, but uh, I mean, it's a mindset of helping yeah. the community exactly. out. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's uh, it's the being basis of just proactive. Being proactive, so, you can take care so of yourself. So when you say uh, money is uh, what the world uh, will, uh, uh, makes the world, world makes the world go <laughs> around. We're actually, by doing these buffalo hours, wow. uh, stepping away from that idea. That's right. And uh, saying that community makes the world, world. That's right. So right. no. more like yes. beautiful south. It's beautiful. It's beautiful what he's saying. Yeah. 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 And you can say this too. Well, money, money is one way to represent your talent and your skill. Right? Exactly. It's not the only way. Right. Your talent and your skill is what makes the world go round. Yeah. Yeah. Money is representation. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, you can money for supplies and things like that, but it's like we're doing it ourselves. For now. So we don't have for now, it's the, it's the reform almost yeah. on our way to transform. I mean, this is the reform. Yeah. Yeah. That's Doesn't something we could do. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. Something we could do. Yeah. Doesn't everybody... Yeah. 
Does everybody know that song, Love Makes the World Go Round? Yeah. Nobody knows that song? Was that I've by never the, heard it. Was that by the Beatles? <laughs> Love makes the world go round. <laughs> no, Vicky, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure you're thinking of you fat bottomed girls. Make the world go round. You mean all you Lots of round things. No, sorry. I'll play it when we get Okay. So, Heron? Oh, Heron? It's out of Carnival. <laughs> okay. It's out of Carnival. A musical called Carnival. So I think I think this was a great kickoff. The, we had three talks today. That's right. Asset ba asset based community development talk at two o'clock. We had my talk and we had Joseph's talk. I think we just started a great conversation for Occupy Economics and let's keep developing this and moving forward on all these ideas. All of these ideas. This is it's a great day. It's a great okay. flow. <laughs> That's the close out music. <laughs> <laughs> And this has been the first Occu discussion uh, for a Saturday, uh, let's see, Saturday, February 4th. February 4th. <laughs> All right.